is William Robson. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Um, this is a quick test video. This is why you're probably going to see some sort of a um, watermark on it. I'm just testing out the software to see if it's worth buying um, before uh, I use it for a planned series of videos. And the planned series is on uh, Nuke for 3D artists, or Nuke for numpties, as I'm tempted to call it. The whole idea is so that you could learn to uh, leverage uh, Nuke. Uh, if you're a 3D artist and you know you, you're currently trying to, you know, like say for example, this is a, an example about light uh, select passes uh, that we'll come on to later on, uh, far later on in the course. So let's say that you've got a client feedback. He's like, "Yeah, can you switch the lights off, please?" Now in composite, that's fairly easy, All right? The same as we can take on the stairs over here. We can take those on and off. We can turn those off. Uh, we've got down here. This is quite a complex one. Now there's a little bit of light on the edge there. I'm going to keep that and change the one at the bottom of the stairs off. Uh, let me take those ones there. I can go on up here. There's an ambient sofa light, which basically just does a little bit here and there. But the front bright sofa light, we can take it all off. We can do all sorts of things with it, and that's not even getting into complex stuff. Um, that's basically just doing sort of some interesting stuff there. So you can see I can grade the GI so if I currently go into a viewer there you can see when I turn that off it's a bit brighter right so if I go back to one I'm gonna go all the way back down to here now because I pressed the wrong button and it still happen select the node and we'll go around that so yeah Nuke is a node based compositing system it's very very powerful if you know what you're doing now you can get all sorts of looks from this um, and there's simple ways you can rebuild a comp. Now the original render for this, now get ready and hold on to your hats because it is rather scarily bad, is that. Right, that's what it looks like. This is a turbo squid scene that I picked up uh, because these days I don't do a lot of modelling. Um, it's been a number of years since I sat and spent a long time modelling, basically because I spent that many years working as 3D supervisors and various other jobs like lead artists, you know, uh, MPC and senior artists at Rockstar and stuff, but uh, a lot of my stuff, you know, is less an organisational role, but it's more breaking down and setting lighting up and things like that. So there you go, that's basically the plan for the entire series, uh, one that would actually have a script unlike this one. Uh, it's quite simple, it's to show you all the groovy things you can do very, very easily using uh, the, the Foundry's Nuke. Now I'm using Nuke 10 at the moment, which is the latest version at the time of uh, sort of recording. Um, you can tell this hasn't got a script on me. So I'll be using the latest version all the way through because I've got a full license of Nuke for my day job. Um, because I work as a external contractor for kiosk group doing stuff on the document documentation side and that's all i'm going to say about that right so anyway this is just i'll say this is just a random bloody test to see if this software is any good and see if it's sharp enough when it's screen capture um if it isn't then i'm gonna to have to look about and find something else and that's it for me <laughs>